Okay, in this lesson, we're going to talk about what information that you need to know before taking out a loan. Uh, and not all loan agreements are the same. And sometimes a lender is going to need you to bring something to the table to, in order to get a loan, like sometimes maybe a cosigner, especially younger adults like yourself, when you go to first borrow money, you might need a cosigner, uh, like a parent or a guardian or a family friend to co-sign for you who says that if you do not agree to pay back what is borrowed, then the co-signer agrees to take over for you. Uh, some, uh, these are some other things that you would probably need to read through before you go to take out a loan. Um, and then also the other part of the reading assignment here. So there's different types of lending institutions I'm going to read that, and now we're going to talk about um, what kind of payments you would make based on how much you borrow. So here's a table of monthly payments per $1,000 of principal. That's the amount you borrow. So this table is based on, if you see it, 6.5%. If you borrow $1,000 for a year, your payment's $86.30. If you borrow $1,000 at 6.5% for two years, your payment would be $44.55. If you borrow $1,000 at 9.25% for three years, if you borrow $1,000 for three years at 9.25%, then your payment would be $31.92 for every $1,000 that you borrow. Okay. So if we look at this example, what is the monthly payment for a $4,000 two-year loan with an APR of 8.50%? So $4,000, so the table, the table lists monthly cost per $1,000. So if you're borrowing $4,000, that's four times 1,000. So whatever these numbers are in the tables, you would multiply it times four because we're borrowing 4,000 and these tables are based on 1,000. So divide the amount you want to borrow by 1,000, you get 4. Now we're going to find 8.5% for 2 years. So 8.5% for 2 years is $45.46 per month for every $1,000 borrowed. So 45.46 times 4, because we're borrowing 4,000, not 1,000, would be 181.84. So this is your monthly payment. Okay. So let's try one on our, for ourselves. Juan is borrowing $41,000 for five years at an APR of 6.5%. What's the monthly payment? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is find out what 41000 divided by 4, I'm sorry, divided by 1,000 is, because remember the table is written in thousands, and that equals 41. So whatever number I come up with in the table, I'm going to multiply it times 41. Okay, we're borrowing for five years. So the five year would be right here in this column here. And the rate we're borrowing at is 6.50%. 6 so 6.50, that's the first entry at five years, is $19.57 for every thousand. So $19.57 for every thousand. And I've got 41 of those. So I'm going to multiply those together, and that's going to give me 19.57 times 41 is 802.37. That would be the monthly payment. Okay. What is the total amount of the monthly payments for a $4,000 two-year loan with an APR of 850? Now, you've got to be careful. This is not asking what the monthly payment is. It's asking what the total amount of all the monthly payments. So we've got to figure out the monthly payment and then multiply it times how long we're borrowing it, which is two years. This is the same problem as in example one. So if you see that, $4,000, okay, borrowed at 8.5%. For two years. So the monthly payment that we found in example one was 181.84. If I want to know how much I'm going to pay over the whole course of that loan for two years, I simply take the 181.84 and multiply it times 24 to give you this amount. That's the total that we would pay. 
Now remember, we only borrowed 4000 Over the course of the two years, I would have to pay back $4,364.16. This is how the lending institution makes their money for extending you credit. All right, let's look at another one. This is a little tougher one here. The total of monthly payments for a five-year loan, this is the total, over five years, is 71.71.20. The APR is 7.25%. How much money was originally borrowed? So let's figure this out here. First of all, I need to do, I need to find out how much a monthly payment was. And if this is the total for all the months combined, which would be, let's see, five years, there's 12 months in a year, five times 12 is 60. So 71, 71, 20 divided by 60 is 119.52. If you do the on the calculator, take this amount, divide it by 60. This is per month. So this is what they're paying per month. Okay. So if we look at the table, and you're going to be using tables for this, if I look at 7.25 for five years is 19.92. That's for every thousand. So if I take this number and divide it by 1992, that's going to give me, let's see, 119 divided by 19.92 is six. So there was six units of a thousand each. Six times 1,000 would be $6,000. So that's what they borrowed. Okay, uh, let's see, this will be the last one. To find the finance charge for a $4,000 two-year loan with an 8.5%. The finance charge, well remember, well this is, has to do with these first two examples. What we paid total was $43.64. What we borrowed was $4,000. The finance charge would be the difference between what we borrow and what we're paying back. So that's what this problem is saying. What we borrowed was 4000 What we paid back was this much. The finance charge is that amount that we had to pay over what we borrowed. So you just subtract them. 4364.16 minus 4000 is 364.16. That was the cost of attaining credit from that institution. So there we go. That's assignment 26.